Uh, it's missing a source. It has gross skinks, because of course it does. Uh, otherwise, not a whole lot here. Team value is... With the skink, that's actually slightly higher than mine. I think? Wait. That's going to be 60? Yeah, that'll be 10k higher than mine. <laughs> I'm at 170. Um... I could upgrade my stadium now. I guess, do I think a player is going to die? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's do this now. Also, let's change that to dwarves. Okay. And start. Actually, that feels a little odd. I feel like RTV, I mean, RTV is pretty much the same. Um, let me think. Plus movement, plus agility. You can do basically a full lizard team at, at TV 1000. Um, agility, movement, uh, block is another 100k. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 180. Uh, yeah, I, I guess that about adds up. I feel like, do they have a... Uh... No? Okay. So, here's the question now. Do I want a Bloodweiser babe? I cannot hire... Uh, unfortunately, it is not an option to hire um, Dribble Snow on this team. Otherwise, I would totally do that. N no questions asked. Do you have money blow? I mean, I guess you have the Crocs. Uh, I don't feel like I need it. I don't feel like I need the babe. I don't feel like it'll do, do me much good. And maybe it will, but also I think keeping that extra money in my bank will potentially do me good. So we're gonna do that. Ugh, this doesn't feel right. I, I love... I love scumming inducements. <laughs> oh, it'll be fine. I just need to buy the, uh, I just need to buy Neville's altar. Then I can, actually, I say that. I don't think altar is as good on Chaos Dwarf. Like, it's great if you're down TV. But how often are Chaos Dwarf going to be down TV? Like, the situation I am in right now, where I had, what, 30k inducements? This would be a perfect time for Knuckles Altar. Because that there is a 100k um, star player that the Chaos Dwarves have access to. And on, actually, most of their star players are, pr are pretty good. Uh, and pretty price efficient, although not, not like that price efficient. But the problem is that they don't have any 60k players, which turn into 10k players with the altar. Meaning it's not really viable to use the altar when you're up on TV. I don't know. I guess I could always buy the altar and then just dump it as soon as I play against someone who can actually use it against me. That's always an option. <laughs> but, like, if I'm gonna do that, I may as well just skip straight to the, um... skip straight to the, um... referee rest area. I don't know. It's something I'll think about. I, I have more time to figure it out.
Hopefully this time I'll actually kill a skink. Actually, I did injure a skink on the last blizzard game I played, I think. Just one skink, though. Um... Oh, that's not a good sign. Okay, we load it. We're fine. Oof, I was worried there for a second. Against lizards, I think offense first. That might not be correct, but is what I'm gonna go with. Did I actually submit? Okay, I did. Okay, and there we go. Okay, that makes some sense. Probably, I mean, okay, look. I'm gonna try and kill a skink. That's where my blitz is gonna go. It's, it's a, it's gonna happen. So the question then becomes, well, I mean, I'm gonna blitz here. So who do I wanna hit these guys? I mean, I guess probably a bunch of chaos dwarves would make sense. Uh, no kick on one, two, three, four. No, there. On the lizards. So, you know, that's good. Um. Uh, can't really escape me easily this way. Perfect defense. You throw the lizards on the line and the crocs. Do I have a response to that? I do, actually. I'd have a much better one if I had like a single, a single other guard chore, but you know, what you're gonna do. Um, let's see. That's a two die. Then that will make this a two die. Then that will make this a two die. Okay. And then you'll be able to do the blitz. Three, four. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I mean. Sure. Uh, you can go over there, you can go like so, and uh, same for you. Okay, you're gonna hit here, right? So... Let's do that. It's gonna be like that, and then like that, and then like that. You're not gonna hit here. So you can go there. Okay. And there. I mean, I can't say I was expecting differently. Drop the pow. Excellent.
Okay, we're gonna do that. Uh, that's like that, that's like that. We're gonna go there. Hmm. I think I'll have you go here. You can go... I mean, I kind of want to, like, double mark a skink. <laughs> but, uh, I think, like, just right there should be... Let's, let's go there. Block that off. Uh, pick up the ball. No, oh well. Yeah, you don't need to stand there right now. And that positioning is fine. Uh, I guess you can move forward like a space. Let's see, two dive block is possible here. It'll require committing probably two skinks to make it happen. Um. I don't see how you're going to stand up without me knocking you back down. Um, you will probably stand up as well. You're going to go probably here. Unless the blitz is here, then you'll go here. Uh, I think the blitz will probably be here or here, though. I guess it could be either. Well, yeah, this bowl is easier to hit. Okay, you mark there, so probably... I still think the Blitz is going to be here. Okay, made the fall though. I don't have a good blitz on a skink. <clears throat> so I'm probably gonna blitz a Saurus then. I think I can knock you down. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I can definitely knock both of you guys down. You can stand up there. You can go over here. Stand 
stay. Uh, you can stand up. You can go here. You can do this. Pow. And follow. You can do this. You block. That's annoying. Okay, you can go right there. Stay. This is a one die, which I maybe shouldn't take. I can chain push you though. You don't, do I want block or do I want the chain push? Oof. That's a tough choice. Okay, so if I roll a block, then this is better. If I roll a push, then this is better. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm willing to commit a reroll to this. This is a 50% chance for a knockdown. Well, okay then. Um, so the ball's not very safe, but uh, otherwise this looks good. Yeah, okay. You know, you know, I'm not sure I should have made that block in hindsight. I was not willing to commit the reroll to it. Am I okay with you being on the group? If with you being free is the question. I, I think it would probably be fine, but I also think I would have been better off not making that block. I mean, clearly that is the case, but more to the point, I mean, I think I don't think the getting a I don't think the pow fishing was worthwhile here. Interesting. Gank Blitz. Pow. Uh. That's probably wise. Um, let's see. You're gonna hit here and probably follow. Um, that will let me move you here to cancel out this assist. Ye oh, you're marked. Hmm. 
Where do we go from there? Because you'll still be there. I could one die here, and then you'll have a two die, which I can follow up and generate another two die here. Well. Hmm. Okay, the problem basically is you. Okay, I can put you in there. That'll turn this into a one die because you have guard. Uh, I can also use you to blitz over here to not use my GFI. Neither of these things get this player off of my ball carrier. Hmm. Let's see, one double GFI to get a second assist here. That will let me get a one die, which is gross. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's only, I mean, it's still two GFIs at the end of the day. Ah. Uh, I guess I can just move with you, though. Or take the GFIs with you. Let's see. Okay, well. I should have probably expected that, to be honest. Yeah, so that's red. That's red. That's gonna be red. That's gonna be red. I can make that's not meaningful. I can make this a one die by ta making this a one die, which is. Ooh. Actually. Can I even do that? No, I can't. That won't be a one die. I guess I can just dodge. I mean, that'll work. I don't really like it, but you know, it'll work. You have green saw tails, so I don't really want to dodge away from you. You don't have enough blockers to get through all of this anyway. Hmm. Okay, well, this isn't really the best situation. I should have put this dwarf here. And I should have blitzed this skink from here instead of here. It would have given, because like in hindsight it was obvious that Queasy would move beside my ball carrier with sidestep, so I should have given the chance to move in the wrong direction. Okay, well, you know, I'm actually pretty happy to see that blitz because I can 2 plus dodge away from it again. 
Probably. I mean, I can write as of right this moment, but like that may not persist. Yeah, okay. Uh... My, oh. Oh no. Oh no! Blood Bowl is freezing all over the place. Why is it doing that? Is it steam? I bet it's steam. I don't want to use the Apo anyway. I don't care. It's Hobgoblin. <laughs> um... It is absolutely steam. Can I just, like, there. Hopefully that would be better. Let's see. I am absolutely not sideline caging against skinks. Um. I could get you to there. That'll give me one assist here. If I get a second assist, that will be... Well, it'll be a one die, actually. But it, what it will also do is it'll let me potentially get a two die on you. One, two, three. Yeah, it would. But then where do I go from there? That doesn't exactly get the ball free. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure this is a mistake, but I guess I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. That's quite unfortunate. Okay, you can go there. Not really the result I wanted, but, well, here we are. Uh, you know, I'm going to be having a bad time if this is basically anything. Hmm. Maybe I didn't plan this out very well. Maybe I didn't plan it out very well. I mean, you just stood up. <sighs> so, that is not, in fact, a, uh, a pal, or rather a 
You know what I mean. It's not a stun. Or worse. Better? Uh, hmm. So, uh, this is not ideal. I have, uh, I have not played this very well, frankly. <sighs> I've already used my reroll. I would very much like to knock you down so that you can't hit this guy away. You can come in here to cancel out three assists as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, this is gonna end really badly for me. As it turns out, I'm really bad. Doesn't even need to blitz with the crocs, although they can. Just needs to put a skink here, a lizard here, and stand up the crocs, so then they can get a two die with their block skink. Should use the block skink. Ah, uh, well, it's, I guess he still got it in the end. Okay, that chain push makes a lot of sense. That is in two tackle zones, which is good. Two Chaos Dwarf tackle zones at that. stand you up, I will have three assists on you, minus one, because of this skink, which I have to assume is not going to be moving. Uh, that's dodging through tackle, and the reroll has already been spent. Two plus two plus four. Two plus two. What was it? Two plus two plus, then the four plus pickup. I don't believe that makes the pick up any easier. Well, that's convenient. Okay, so, problem. I want someone standing here so that I can get a two die here. I don't really have a solution. Mm, I guess I could dodge out with you, but I kind of don't want to do that. I could blitz you. Do I need my blitz somewhere else? You know, I don't think I do. Pow. Stay. Yeah, that makes sense. Stay. Ha! Huh. 
Well, that sure did scatter. Do that. You can go th wait. Okay. You can go there for the assist. Uh, now, am I going to actually pick up this ball this turn? That's another matter. I don't think I am, which is a little unfortunate, but you know. Because um, I could try and dodge out with you and get it, but like, that's a lot of dodging and I, I don't love it. And as tempted as I am to foul you, I don't think I have quite enough assists to justify the dodge. Especially with that dirty player. I don't love that. I've really kind of bungled this. Okay, you know, that makes me feel a little bit better. I'm not sure that it meaningfully improves my situation, but it makes me feel better. And at the end of the day, that's what counts. Such a pain in the butt. Well, I guess I should maximize my odds of picking up that ball. 
That's probably for the best. Wait. Oh, the Crocs. Damn it. Don't do that, you stupid... Okay. That doesn't even help me, because I blitzing you doesn't actually help me, because I you're the you are the problem. So that's gonna be red. I guess I could blitz with you. No, that won't work either. You're a real pain. Okay, you know what? Fine. We're overthinking this. Seriously? Uh... Okay. Of course. I mean, it was a three plus, to be fair, but... Please don't trip. Thank you. I guess you'll just stay down there. I mean, I've basically marked everything that could run after you at this point. Uh, almost everything. I do not want to make that dodge. Okay, if I did that, then I would have a one die on you, with you, which would not free you, and would not free either of you. That's worth it. Okay. Well, it was worth the attempt. It had a chance of allowing me to mark this skink. Which uh, was worth the risk, I think. Well, yeah, it was because it had rel this action had relatively, excuse me, little risk associated with it. It would not have allowed, um, Failing this does not make it any easier to get to the ball. Can you? Yes. Two GFIs. Didn't blitz. Well, that's convenient. I am going to need to dodge away from this skink. I guess... Let's see, a 1 in 9 is more likely to succeed. Because you're slightly too far away for the blitz. Uh... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then I can run you down to mark there. Uh, I really didn't do this properly. Okay. We're going to take movements that have no risk. Then we're going to take that blitz. Then we are going one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. Hey. 
Then we're gonna start taking uh, blocks to, I guess, try and kill Saurus or something. Um... Mark you, do I want to block you here? Like, no matter what, this is going to be fairly open. Mm. I think I'll do that and that. But you go one, two, three, four. Not really very clear, but you know, tells me where I want to put you. Well, son of a bitch. I'm not in the scoring position, so I'm not going to be able to score now. <laughs> Great. I mean, that would be the play here. I think you probably take, do you take that block? No, that that's greedy. Those look like the best dice to me. You have to dodge here and you have to dodge here and you need to do the four plus pick up. So three plus, four plus, three plus, two plus is probably the best you're gonna get. Well, I feel bad. That, like, I feel like I've, I played really badly and that happened because of it. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Here we are. Let's see. A riot would, will still allow me to score. So I will position for that. But more, most likely, I will be once again attempting to kill some players. Probably unsuccessfully, based on how that went in the first half. Like... Yep. What was I saying about not needing the babe? You're going to sleep through this whole match, and you're going to roll a three every time. Okay, well... Could be good for vanity pass, I guess. You are at a zero, you're at a three. I'm not particularly attached to either of you having vanity passes.
Hmm. Okay, we got it. Badly hurt is fine. It's one less player on the pitch. Also a level up. Which is nice. Um... Yeah, sure. Wait, no, you're supposed to go here. Okay, hopefully my edgy four goblin will wake up and then I will have a player advantage. Even if I only removed the skink, it's still something. Of course, I don't love my odds here since they managed to score on my drive. I mean, 1-2-1 one, one isn't too bad and this is probably my worst matchup. But still... Nope, you did not get up. So we are even on players. Ish. Yeah, yeah, that'll be you. The reason being, quite simply, that it'll make it harder for this guy to mark more players. Like, a little bit harder. Let's save that. Okay, getting a player with Mighty Blow is going to be nice. Hopefully I can get one of these assholes to level up as well. Um, hmm, in terms of MVP levels, you know, I probably should have thrown it with you. It would have put you into MVP range. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have a 50% chance of the MVP turning into a level. That's pretty good.
if we can improve the odds there as well, that would be even better. Well, I'd still prefer just the level up, but you know. You know, failing the level up, increasing the odds of getting a level up from the MVP is also good. You know, I don't think this this Crocs has got has boneheaded even once yet. Which you know, like, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Not close enough to steal the ball that way. Although, I am definitely close enough to threaten the ball if they fail to pick up. I guess Blitz is going to be here. My blitz. I mean, like, if one of these skinks is in blitzing range, then no blitz a skink. But most likely that won't be happening. In which case, I will probably target. He that is totally in blitzing range. Well, okay then. Okay then. Hmm. One GFI for Skink Blitz. And I need to do it to put pressure on the ball anyway. I mean, that sounds good to me. I don't think I can quite mark you, but, well, I definitely can't mark you, and then you can go anywhere, and that's not so great for putting pressure on the ball anymore. Going around here would almost be better. I could hit one of you guys, actually. Um, why the heck not? I mean, I can think of several compelling reasons why not, but... How about I ignore them and I just do this instead? Wait. Oh, I needed you to blitz. I done goofed. Can I? I mean, I still can do that. Uh, I kind of want to put you there, but I kind of very much don't because I don't want to get be marked by the Crocs. We're we're not gonna no we're not gonna double down on that mistake. I don't think. Uh, you can go... Okay, you know what? I really want to do this. Oh, that involves a... Nope, 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 that's not happening. Okay. Well, that's too bad. 
Let's go for plan B. It's a lot like plan A. That's not quite, that's not quite all the way there, is it? Hmm. Okay, well. It's going to be relatively easy to punch a hole through here. Um, but the trick with that is the follow-up won't be great. Like... This would be a cage with maybe two lizards in it. And with where the stinks are positioned, it's not going to be super far down the pitch either. Probably if you busted this open, you're going to be caging some, somewhere around here. Excuse me. Yeah, like, there's a pathway here, but it's basically a potato play. <laughs> this is where the adjacent can reach without GFIs. The fast skin can get all the way down to here, or maybe here, but it wouldn't have any protections. And I have at least three players who would be able to blitz it. Okay, so, stand up this goblin. I have a two die block here. If the ball carrier is here, that will give me a block with the, a two die blitz with this chaos dwarf. Um, well, a, a one die blitz. Two, no, no, a two die. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. I can still get a two die blitz here with my bull centaur. Mm. It doesn't have tackle, but it does have block. So. That's not terrible odds. I don't have much recovery there, though. Okay, that's okay. It's three GFIs either way. Where do I want my positioning to be? Well, I mean, I want a Chaos Force standing here. That's a GFI. Hmm. 
Let's put one here. Let's, uh, I kind of would like to dodge out with you, actually. Um... I think you're fine where you are. Wait a s- you're stunned! If you were not stunned, I would be able to do a really good play here. Oh well. I guess that happens. Uh... I think I should make my blitz before I do that. Perfect. Well, almost perfect. Okay, uh, this changes things. So, nope, nope, you're not picking that up. Still kind of want to dodge out with you. Uh, I guess standing here is actually fine now, though. Uh, we're gonna do that. Absolutely willing to commit the reroll. And, uh, you're gonna go... What's actually available to go over there? The Crocs is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna go stand there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. You're gonna go stand there. Um, I don't suppose, I mean, you have a one die. I don't think I need to take that, though. I don't think it's worth it. I could have GFI passed here, and I'm pro probably I should have done that. That would have been safer. Well, what did it have been? I mean, yeah, it would have. Could have done it, didn't. That is a scary blitz. No bonehead this game yet, so two plus on the bonehead. It feels like it's gonna happen. Two GFIs without a reroll, and then no block blitz with the no reroll. I mean, it's like you have a reroll, but it is it is loner. So it feels like you don't have a reroll. The reroll is statistically less good. That was the first GFI that failed. Okay, you made it. You did it. You got here.
we're going to do that. Oh, that's a push. Hmm. Follow. Hmm. That still will get me off of the Crocs. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Do that, then I can get over there. Um, if I powed you and then I was willing to make a dodge, then I can get out of range of almost everything. But I don't think I'm willing to make that dodge, is the thing. Do I think you'll be served? I do not. Okay, so... I can hit you, or I can hit you. I can't hit both of you. I think you... Both of them get me away from the Croxagore. Uh, I think you're a bigger actual threat to me so and a block is no good anyway so That is, you're going to have a two die on the next turn. Uh, but you'll still be, okay. Hmm. And you're staying where you were. Last reroll burn. Are, are you are you actually gonna go for the surf? You are. Okay. Well, you know. Okay. That is a choice that you have made.
two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, probably not just like that. Uh, You know, I can probably surf you. One, two, three. That's convenient. I mean, I still can probably surf you, but I'd actually rather free my ball carrier. Oh, wait, no, do things in the right order. You're going there. You are going there. You are going there. Uh, you are not moving yet because you are doing this. Pow! Ha ha! stunned. You're free. Can you get over there? I mean... Kind of, but not to the place where it would matter. That frees up two more chorps. Uh, okay. Which chaos dwarf is it? Or which, uh, okay, you're the one who will level up if you score. So, uh, hopefully we can do that, you know? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's there. That's there. Hmm. That's... Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll see whether we can even do that. So, there's only one skink free right now, and it does not have block or sidestep, which means uh, if all of the croc, if the crocs and all of the source are marked, then we can pr we can potato with relative safety. And uh, I'm looking at this now, and. Uh, it sure looks to me like all of the crocs and or like the crocs and all of the source are marked. You blitzed. I see.
Okay. Um, that does complicate things somewhat. Mm, I think I can get a two die here, though. And then from a two die, I can still do the blitz thing. I can blitz out. Uh, that two die will require a one die. I have two re rolls. Um, it's a pretty safe as far as one die goes. Only need a push, so it'll be a. Yeah. So that'll be a two plus in order to get a two die here with my ball carrier. Um, or we could take the one die with the ball carrier, but I actually need a push with the ball carrier, so it's th it's a three plus. Yeah, that feels that feels that feels right. Um, not you. Uh, I need this space open. Ha. Huh. I see. That's a bit of a problem then. I can hit you and then dodge away. That wouldn't do it. Okay, so. I think this is worth the blitz. Because if I get a POW or Defender stumbles, then I'm off. If I get anything else, then it's not ideal. Okay. Whew. I have a reroll and I'm still reachable by more stuff than I want to be. Okay, so you cannot reach me. You are double marked. You are not double marked. Hmm. You would need to dodge through things. You can reach me, but you know, you're, you're a lone skank. Uh, so I think I haven't used my rule. I think I'm still going to take this block. Okay. I would call that just about ideal. You cannot reach anymore and you are now double marked. You cannot reach and you can go mark the skink mm, without marking the cross the door. Okay. This is looking good.
man, this feels like it's gonna be another draw. Well, I'll take it, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that's putting pressure on me, but I had every intention of scoring on my next turn anyway. Um, is, this is just saying, oh, I cannot stall. Okay, I mean, nothing's even marking my bull centaur, so... I kind of may as well try and take a blitz on a skink. Okay, so... Should I do this? This is a 2 plus... This increases my chance of not scoring, but it lowers, potentially lowers the chances of m me being too turned. Also, I want the level up. I, I don't think I should be making this block, but I did, and I guess it worked out. Uh, oh, well, that's going to be the apple for sure. MNG. Okay, so with only one skink, the odds of the two turn here are pretty low, which is good. It is good. Um, I don't think my odds of scoring a game are particularly high, but you know, I guess that's another draw. Like I'm at what now? One, this will be one three zero, I think. Maybe what week is this? This is week five. Will it be one four zero? It'll be one four zero, won't it? <sighs> well, I haven't lost yet. <laughs> uh... Actually, that skink is super fast, so if anything can two turn, it, it'll be the movement nine player. Like, it has enough movement to do it, is what I'm saying. Now, you bonehead. <sighs> I am not close enough to pick up that ball, but I am close enough to mark it. You're close enough to pick it up. Hmm. Well, that's, that's presuming that you don't get knocked down. Probably not a safe bet. Is 
you want to win, then you should pick up this ball because that will determine what, how you. Oh, okay. How you move your Saurus. Yeah, I'm okay with that actually. Um, and you need to move to nine, right? You need to be. I mean, you only need to be two spaces deep, actually. Here, it will be in scoring range. Barely. You probably want to be here, though. Or even here. If that was a KO, I actually probably would have used my app on that Chaos Dwarf. Um, I'm thinking about this. With the Badly Hurt though, it doesn't matter. It's out, it's out of the game either way. That's what I thought you would do. Because you're afraid of my bull centaur. I don't see how you're gonna get into scoring range here while still protecting the ball though. That is insufficient. Yeah, you're going to go over here, and uh, depending on how deep you are, I'm probably going to bliss you from a full centaur. And that is how this will go down. I mean, I might also go for this Chaos Dwarf. It, it depends on where the skink is, exactly. Um... Okay, that is blitzable by my Chaos Dwarf, but also, this is far enough down the pitch. Oh, you have not. Well, <laughs> the good news is that does answer the question of what I'm going to do. That, that actually is rough, though. Um, can I get the ball? I might be able to score again. <sighs> okay, well, you know, sure. Let's go for it.
Okay, well, that does not actually matter. It would have been really nice to be marking the Crocs. It does not matter if it's scald. I mean, I'm still going to try it for the score here, right? Um, I'm just probably not going to prioritize it. It's not very likely to work. Yes, go for the blitz. There's more, there's a bigger chance of that going wrong. Okay, you're marked, you're marked, that was the blitz, you're marked. I guess you can still try and dodge out though. Um, let's assume you'll not be viable. Uh, that's one GFI, that's one GFI, that's one GFI. Um, I still have a chance of picking up this ball. The Crocs should not have blitzed me and should not have done it from that angle. Okay, I only need two. I need two GFIs because I need two assists. Okay, I'll stand you up and uh, you guys have both leveled up, so I don't feel particularly motivated to take that block. You have not just leveled up, so this is greedy. No, I'm not taking that greed play. Push was all I needed. Come on! No, didn't get it. Oh well. It was definitely worth the, the attempt. Oh yeah, well I guess you weren't on the dead goblin, but the dead hog goblin, excuse me, at least. Uh, okay. Yep. Let's go level, do some level ups and let's replace Gummy. Pull up my list. Mm, that one. Next on the... Yeah, that one. I have chosen. Um, match has not been confirmed. That did go pretty quickly, though. Oh, there it is. Let's replace our god- wait, who am I playing next week? The humans, I think. Uh, Women Respectors are a human team. They have not played their match this week. Uh, their TV is really low, though. Have they not? You know what? Whatever. 
I'm not afraid of buying the Hobgoblin. It... Because, like, sometimes it's worthwhile to wait and see to for this sort of thing, but, uh... What the heck is that? Nope. This is gonna be... So, so, you know, I fully expect this hobgoblin to immediately be crippled with a name like that. Okay, let's do some level ups. You got, that's a nine. Well, um, I, you haven't gotten anything to bias me, so we're going to take break tackle. You got a... <gasps> Oh, I I'm going to take the strength, actually. <laughs> Claw is nice, but strength is... Claw is great, but strength is like, wow. Um, and you are going to take Mighty Blow. Okay. Okay. I'm liking how this is turning out. <laughs> I uh, hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to go now. So, uh, bye.